I'm still. I'm outside with your face. I'm sorry, I wasn't expecting my phone to break. What are you doing? And my phone would not turn on. getting ready i'm trying on a new product that i want to show you guys good morning long time no see i literally knew this was gonna happen i knew that classes were gonna start and i was gonna get overwhelmed and just completely forget about vlogging i seriously don't know how people do it and they post like two or three times a week while they're in school and have other things it's just like how i've been here for about like a month maybe a little over a month and i feel like so much has happened and it's just been a lot and i was like okay i need to vlog so that i can look back on these memories so we had our first home football game it was super fun super cute this past weekend my boyfriend came to visit and we went hiking at the Cascades. It's a really popular hike here and it was so 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 pretty. It was definitely worth it. I'm not even like a huge hiker but it was so much fun. It's actually pretty late honestly because I didn't go to my first class because it's the only class that doesn't take attendance and I basically have 9 a.m. every day which isn't horrible. I know I should be waking up early. I really like the professor for that class but it's just the fact that like everything is online and he doesn't take attendance and it's just hard to find motivation to go to classes that don't take attendance because it's like I'd rather just sleep it but i try to go as much as i can but i definitely want to get better at going it's been really good in some ways i want to say like the social aspect has been really good i've been having a lot of fun with friends and i joined two new clubs which is really exciting i just got accepted into ama american marketing association and then i joined the american advertising federation which is really exciting because i wanted to join more clubs that revolve around my major and my career and we actually have our first ama meeting today which is really exciting i know clubs at colleges can feel so exciting exclusive especially business frats and the finance clubs it's like 10 rounds of interviews and the application process is horrible it's like literally college applications all over again it's like oh you can't just join a club like you have to go through so much just to even be a part of a club and it's actually crazy so good luck to everyone going through that process and everything works out the rejection sucks but you'll definitely get through it i want to try this new product i use the fenty skin tint and i really, really like it but it's getting low i really want to hold off purchasing a new one for as long as i can I think I bought it when it was on sale, so it wasn't as expensive. My friend actually gave me these like glow bronze drops. She got this like in an Ipsy bag, I think. And I actually really like this, but I think it broke me out. I'm not sure. I stopped using it to see if this is why, because I started breaking out like a lot. And I was like, mm, maybe it's this, but I really liked it. I got this actually a couple weeks ago when I went to go see Brian, and then I completely left it. And he was here this past weekend, so he brought me like all the makeup that I bought, and I just got to take that. I love e.l.f. products a lot. They're just affordable and they have dupes of everything so this is the bronzing drops i just got the bronze one i know there's one that's like rosy i actually did already put this on i'm pretty sure i've heard you're supposed to like mix it with moisturizer or something but i already put something on my face i'm just gonna try it anyways and i'm just gonna put it on my brush unfortunately i'm actually phoneless literally nothing happened i didn't drop my phone i had no water damage my phone was working perfectly fine i just went to charge it and then i woke up and my phone would not turn on the screen was completely black i called apple nothing worked and the closest apple store here is like in north carolina so she said oh go to best buy because they can do apple support whatever but you can only go by appointment that was saturday sunday we went to best buy and she pretty much was like yeah you have to buy a whole new phone and i was like are you actually serious like i thought they'd be able to fix it or like look at the parts and see if they could replace anything and she just said that the whole like motherboard is fried and that is probably just issues that over time it just gave out and i was like i've had no problems with my phone it would be different if like my phone has been acting up and like not doing anything but like my phone has been perfectly fine no issues and that was just frustrating because i feel like stuff always happens i don't even do anything like my phone had no cracks no scratches and it's like great like now we just have to spend unnecessary money like i there was no plan to buy a whole new phone i thought i could just like fix it and just move on with my life yeah i went to at&t and that was a whole thing and i ended up getting a new phone i got the newest one it was time for me to upgrade anyway so that kind of worked out and obviously i'm grateful and glad that i was able to get a new phone i was just annoyed because it just it wasn't a necessary purchase okay great now my parents have to spend money that they didn't need to spend right now then it was this whole thing because on the order it has my dad's name and then first off i thought i was going to be able to buy the phone and have the phone that day but they had to ship it to me and i was like great like packages take so long to get here 
And then on the package, it has my dad's name and not my name. When I noticed, I went back to the store and I was like, hey, is there a way I can change this and put my name on it? Because if it doesn't have like a student's name or package on it, they're gonna withhold my package and not give it to me. And obviously I need a phone and they couldn't change it. And I was actually annoyed because I was like, why is it so hard to change the name? And he was like, oh, we can't do anything. Try calling. AT&T support. I called AT&T support and it was literally no help at all. It was actually so frustrating and it was pretty much the same thing. They're like, we can't change it unless you do cancel the order and do a new order. And I was like, okay, like I can do that. Let me just cancel do it again. And I had to pay like a $53 tax in store. And so he was like, you're going to have to pay that again if you do the order. And I was like, if I already paid it, why do I have to pay it again? And he's like, you're just going to have to pay it again. And I was like, okay, you know what? It's fine. Luckily, my friend said the same thing happened to him and he just had to email the mail room that it didn't have his name on it that they'll give it to him it just might take a little bit longer so i emailed them yesterday explained everything told them all my information so hopefully i can get it it's just like really frustrating because obviously that was unexpected and it's just the fact that i didn't do anything to my phone for it to mess up and like i had a video for a brand i was supposed to post yesterday and then i had to email the brand and be like unfortunately i can't post it because my phone's broken and it's just like that just like is so annoying i'm sorry i wasn't expecting my phone to break i literally had to use my friend's ipad for my alarm this morning luckily though brian was extremely helpful and was with me like the whole weekend i guess you know i will have a new phone so maybe that's like a sign i need to up the content creation but that was such a crazy unexpected weekend but it's okay like i said i'm honestly like very grateful and appreciative of the fact that i'm even able to get one and have one and not just be phoneless for like months it's currently 11 54 it is actually so so late i've just been like so mentally drained from everything like i don't even know what it is but this year has been mentally draining and hard i added another class to my schedule and i was kind of nervous about how that was going to be to have like three classes every single day which to me is like a lot honestly it works out really good because the way the teacher set up the class is that we're supposed to have it monday wednesday friday but she makes it so that we only have class once a week or twice a week lately we've only been having class once a week which is actually so nice i just really like how our class is structured and set up whenever there's a quiz or an exam we don't have class and so today we have midterm our first midterm so i don't have class today so i just have one class at 2 30 i'm actually kind of nervous for the midterm even though it is open note she gave us a whole study guide because the quiz which was also open note but i thought i knew all the stuff even using my notes it was low-key hard and i didn't do as good as i was hoping to do i mean i still got a good grade but it was like difficult so kind of scared for the midterm but honestly other than that i genuinely like all of my classes they're all interesting it all revolves around my career and what i want to do in the future i'm gonna go find a study spot because i actually have quite a bit to do and i want to be productive even though i started my day late there's lots of things i've been going on that are out of my control that that stress me out but i just need to focus on what i can do and what i can do is have a nice productive day i might take a workout class later which will be really nice i wanted to show that i got new glasses as well these are the glasses that i got from like my appointments video a couple weeks back but i had to get them delivered to here and i actually love them so much it suits my face more and it's cute yeah, those are the new glasses let's go be productive with my day I feel like it's raining but i got out of my class for the day and i'm done and he literally let us out like over 30 minutes early which is so nice can eat some food because i want to take a pilates class before my meeting those classes you literally have to get there like 45 minutes early or you're not gonna have a spot it's so annoying you can't like pre-sign up it's just first come first serve and so the amount of times i try to go and it's like full it's so annoying because you have to get ready go to the gym and you're like oh i'm gonna take a pilates class and then no you can't i've taken a couple other classes they were not like that and it's like I did not have to wait outside for an hour But it's kind of good because the class is at 5 30 I would have low-key had to go straight to the gym to make sure I can get in line But now I have time to eat a little meal and then go to the workout class and then I'll have my meeting It's so weird because it's raining, but it's like bright and sunny outside today was honestly a pretty productive day I actually got a lot done at the library and I'll probably just do a few more things after my meeting and stuff I'm trying to like vlog more in public. Hopefully I'm doing good at that 
because it is 4.05. Honestly, perfect timing. I watched YouTube for a little bit. I'm gonna go to the gym now and it'll just give me plenty of time to walk on the treadmill for a good like 30 minutes, hopefully, maybe more. And then I will do the Pilates class. I'm really excited. I'm taking the Pilates sculpt class, which I love and I love the instructor. I think I've only gotten to taking it like one time. And then every time I'm trying to go, it got filled up. So hopefully I actually make it. If not, I might just do a lift or something. Pilates class was super duper fun, super good. I'm really glad that I was able to go. I was the first person in line, so. But I'm gonna go head to my AMA meeting. I'm really excited. This is the first one, or my first one. And then I'll probably go to the library and just get some work done. literally my go-to snack. It's almost 10 o'clock now. Today was actually a very, very productive day. I'm really happy about myself. I got everything done that I wanted to do. Low-key, I completely forgot I even had my midterm, so I did that really late in the library. I did a lot better than I was expecting, and even just when I was going through the questions, I knew a lot more of the answers. The AMA meeting was really, really good. I met this girl at one of the recruitment events, and we were talking a lot, and we exchanged Instagrams, and I was like, oh, I hope she made it too. I hope I see her today, and we're literally in the same committee which is gonna be so fun so we were talking i'm really excited i'm on the social media committee and honestly it was super cool because everyone had such diverse majors like i really thought it was gonna be everyone was gonna be marketing but everyone it was a lot of like bit finance accounting i mean a lot of different business related majors but i was honestly so surprised like a lot of people are doing really cool things and it was just such a diverse group of people but i'm really happy i'm done with everything for today i may or may not start editing this video but honestly i just want to chill and watch youtube I really don't watch YouTube like that unless I'm like folding my clothes But it's hard to find time to like sit down and watch a YouTube video and shower and just wind down for the night And chill and probably hang out with my friends and my sweet mates, but yeah, I think that's my night very good productive day Here is the OTD of the day. I think honestly this is the first time I've worn jeans to class besides the first week of school I actually just woke up, but I have class pretty soon But I'm kind of freaking out because I don't know where my hokey pee is, which is not good If I had my phone, I could scan with the app I'm gonna head to class so that I'm not late the dorm luckily my hokey pee was literally in my suite like i knew it was somewhere there i knew i had it last night and i was like there's literally where else could it be i remember having it and i guess i left it in the bathroom and i was like oh thank goodness my sweet mates found it my roommate put it in my room i was doing work at the new dining hall and i was sitting like right by the brunch place and it just smelled so good and i was so hungry and i was like okay i'm gonna come back get food i realized i was like how am i gonna get into the actual building because you have to swipe in but luckily when i was coming in like a whole group of girls were coming out so i was able to get in the door is closed because someone left the door open but like our door is weird and it just always shuts by itself it doesn't stay cracked open like most doors do luckily my roommate she texted an ra to come unlock the door and it's been a while and no one's responded and like now i don't have time and i need to go so i'm just gonna leave and it's like frustrating because i came all the way here just to go all the way back to where i'm about to go i was actually about to like cry because this just whole situation has really been frustrating me like my phone being broken was really annoying because my phone had no issues if i dropped it or if i dropped it in water if i damaged it i'd be like okay like that's my fault like i broke my phone but i literally didn't do anything to it and there's been no problem so i'm just like why did it break and obviously i'm very thankful that i was able to get a new phone but it's like that's just money that no one was thinking of spending and i just feel really bad about that like just a whole new phone and then like it's getting shipped and that whole thing was so annoying of like trying to change the name can't change the name and my dad sent a screenshot and it said it's going to ship either the 26th to October 10th. That actually made me so frustrated because the guy was like, you should get it in like two to three business days. And I was like, you know what? That's fine. But it's like October 10th. And then when I couldn't find my hokey pee, I just was like, dang, like nothing's going my way. And I get frustrated super easily. And there's way more important things going on in the world. And it's like, there's so much for me to be grateful for and appreciative of, which is why I always feel stupid for like being annoyed or upset at these like little things. Cause I know it's like, oh my God, you don't have a phone, but like, holy 
these things to be grateful and appreciative of, but it is like frustrating. And like at my meeting last night, they're putting up all these QR codes of like scan and join this. And I'm like, mm, can't do that. I did book to borrow an iPad because I've been using my student iPad as my alarm every morning. And I just feel really bad. I just hate like using people's stuff or like asking people for favors. So I'm going to have that. So then luckily I can have that if I need it for like my alarms or if I need to scan anything. I'm not going to lie. This morning was a little bit rough. And I know everything will get resolved. Fine. I'll look back on this and be like, oh, that was so funny. But like, it's not funny right now. But I actually have to take a headshot pretty soon for Yate Society, which is why I was at that dining hall anyways, because it's right near the bus stop. If you're wondering, I'm actually in a study room right now. Someone was studying up some biology, looks like. I'm excited to get a nice little professional headshot. Maybe I can use it for my LinkedIn. What's up, everyone? We're at the Hokey Nation. Hokey. This is so like fancy. Hokey. I'm playing y'all, you know I'll be with it. Oh. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, I didn't get ready. You missed it, I didn't. Tommy, can you do it with me? I'm outside with your face. Turn Hey guys, it is Thursday. The week actually went by extremely fast. I remember I was not looking forward to this week whatsoever and I'm actually very happy that it's almost done and tomorrow's Friday and then the weekend. I had an interview last night and it went extremely well. It was for an exec position for a club. Fingers crossed. I'll give you guys updated. I'm definitely feeling so much better. I think the beginning of the week I was just stressed out about a lot of things and I just felt like things weren't going my way but definitely as the days went on I kind of just started to look at things more positively trying to have a good mindset and just doing things that make me feel good and happy like workout classes and hanging out with my friends. It's honestly been a very funny past few days. I've been staying up pretty late just talking to my friends but it's been really nice and definitely making me feel a lot better about everything. I still don't have a phone but it's okay. I actually have really been too worried about that and honestly i think it's really good because i really don't go on social media at all like i have the ability to on my computer but i don't like doing it from my laptop but like i haven't really been on social media and i definitely can tell that there's a difference of just like being more appreciative of the moment since i'm not constantly scrolling in a way it's actually been good and probably needed i just wanted to end the vlog off here this is a really unexpected vlog i had no plans of like vlogging this week at all and i didn't know when i was gonna start and stop but definitely will try to be way more consistent make sure to follow me on my other socials and like comment subscribe you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you guys next time